Hello everyone! Today I'll be showing you another tutorial on how I did the side blast assignment. So the directions were first review these slides, which I did, and then using E. coli TYRRS as starting sequence, run a side blast. How many blast iterations must you do for you to believe that TYRRS and TRYPRS are homologs? So I clicked on this link and it took me to Uniprot and then I copied this number and I pasted it into NCBI and I searched and then I went to the FASTA to get the FASTA format of the peptide sequence and here the name is tyrosine tRNA ligase and an another name is tyrosyl tRNA synthetase so that makes me know that TYR and this is tyrosine, so I guess TRYP is tryptophan. So I copied and pasted the FASTA file. I went to NCBI Blast, clicked on Protein Blast, and then I pasted the peptide sequence here. I put it to Uniprot, and then I clicked on Cyblast. So then I blasted. And when the results came up for Cyblast iteration one, I scrolled through, it was a lot, it says 396 sequences. Everything is tyrosine tRNA ligase or tRNA synthetase. All of this. And we were told, or we were asked to see how many blast iterations until we knew tryptophan RS was a homolog of tyrosine RS. So I ran another iteration and the new results were highlighted in yellow. So when I scroll down, there are some new results, but there are mostly tyrosine and a few tryptophan tRNA ligase, tryptophanol tRNA synthetase written here. And then below here, when it says it was E values worse than the threshold, there were some tryptophans down here. So I didn't, uh, I thought I should do another iteration to see if those would go into the results. So then I ran another one. For iteration three, I scrolled down and there was a lot more results. And this time I saw that there were many of the results were tryptophan tRNA ligase, tryptophan or tRNA synthetase. And there was nothing else about worse values being down here. So because the question asked how many blast iterations must you do to believe that they are homologs? I didn't think that meant we needed to keep doing it until the iterations stopped providing new results. So for me, I said that I only need to run three iterations for me to understand that tryptophan RS and tyrosine RS are homologs because there were most of these results were tyrosine and then the other half was tryptophan. And then the other question was, use the EBI HMM site to identify which PFAM family E. coli tyrosine RS is part of. Does this confirm your Cyblast results? So I went to the link that it provided. I pasted in the peptide sequence and I submitted it and these results came up. I have actually had this page open for almost over an hour now and this has been loading the entire time. I don't know what's supposed to be here but it has not come up. So the question asked, identify which PFAM family E. coli TYRS is part of. So here I didn't really know what I was looking for but then I hovered my, my icon over these little things over here and when I went over this blue one I saw interpro and I know and I knew from previous lectures that interpro and pfam were similar to each other so then I scrolled down and here is pfam and I clicked on tRNA sint 1b and then that brought me to this page where it showed me family tRNA sint 1b which I could assume is the family for all of these results and then when I checked just to make sure that it was the same PFAM for all of them, it was right here. 
So the answer was asking, what was the family? It's tRNA synthetase class, class one, right here. That's what the PFAM family was. And does this confirm your Cyblast results? I believe it does because it was tyrosine tRNA ligase, also known as tyrosyl tRNA synthetase. And it was also tryptophan tRNA ligase 2 or tryptophan tRNA synthetase 2. And in the PFAM here, it's showing tRNA synthetase 1, 1E, 1G, 1F, and then when I clicked on CLAN to see, because CLAN means they share the same domains, there's tRNA synthetase 1, 2, and many, many other ones here that essentially matched what it was for tryptophan here. So I'd assume that they are indeed homologs because they seem to be a part of the same family. And then the next question was go to the PFAM link and determine the structural studies paper. So when I'm at the summary, it says literature references, and the title is tryptophanol tRNA synthetase crystal structure reveals an unexpected homology to tyrosyl tRNA synthetase. I think that also further supports the idea that Cyblast showed tyrosine and tryptophan are indeed homologs. So I clicked on the PubMed link and then I copied the PMID because that was the final question right here. I hope that was helpful. If I did anything wrong or if you want to give me any pointers, I'd really appreciate it if you told me. Thank you.